Hi everybody, this is Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Um, I'm going to make a quick video. Today I'm going to start another project. Uh, throughout the course of the summer I was bringing gravel home and uh, I was drying it out. I put it on a sorting tray and go through it and I found some diamonds in it, but I was not sorting the gravel by size. Uh, one of the other regular diamond miners uh, that spends a lot of time down there uh, explained to me that by sorting it out uh, a little bit smaller, uh, by sorting it by one eighth inch, uh, he said it's a lot easier to find the smaller diamonds. Um, and I had not been doing that. So what I'm going to do is that this is all the centers, well, almost all the centers, uh, except for the last three or four trips. Um, I was taking all that that gravel that I had gone through. I was putting it back in five gallon buckets and I was done looking through it. And then I would take and dump it in this drum. So I've got. Uh, Oh, it's probably about up to here, some little over half, almost two thirds. That's all concentrated centers that I had brought home, and uh, I had not sized them when I've gone through them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconcentrate them, <clears throat> see if I can get a couple of buckets of concentrated centers, and I'm going to take those and I'm going to dry them out. Then I'm going to sort those by eighth inch, and I'm going to check them again, see if I missed any small diamonds. So today I'm going to set up a small wash station here and uh, just basically just uh, wash and you know, reconcentrate right on here at the tailgate of the truck and uh, get a couple buckets of centers and I'll get those dried out and see what I can find once I've got them sorted by one eighth inch. So uh, it's getting a little bit late today. It's about 50 degrees out here so it's a little bit chilly but I'll try and get some footage kind of as, as I go of what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm about ready. I've got my wash station set up right there. I've got my Soroka handy. Uh, these are available online. You can order these. Uh, this one I actually bought from uh, one of the camping areas that's real close to the Crater of Diamonds. Works pretty good. You can go through just a little bit more material at a time. Um, you can see I've got my barrel laid over there. Some of it's actually spilled out a little bit, but I've got a scoop that I can use to scoop it out into this Soroka and I'll get started washing. All right, you can kind of see for each Soroka, you can see I've got a much bigger center. That's because these are already concentrated once. So I'm having to do basically just one, one scoop full at a time into my Soroka. And this is what I end up with. So that's a lot of heavies. If I get too many heavies in there, my center is going to be way too wide. And I can push a diamond all the way out to the edge. I really don't want to get that much material spread that far out. Even with this just like this, it's a little bit difficult to get all of that center gathered up into my bucket. And I've already got a pretty good start on a bucket full. And you can see for no more material than I've got, that's quite a bit. All right. You can see I've made a little bit more progress starting on my second bucket of uh, concentrated or reconcentrated centers. Since this will be uh, another round of concentration for these. so. Still got quite a bit more. It's getting a little bit late in the day and temperatures down below 50 degrees. So getting kind of chilly. My arms, hands are kind of getting numb. So uh, I'm going to try and at least get that bucket filled up. And I think uh, if I can get that done before it gets dark, I'll be in pretty good shape. But I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. I don't know if my hands will hold out. So, All right. So I finally finished up. Um, I decided instead of trying to check every Saruka pile over real good, see if I can see anything, um, basically, I just just basically flipped them, pulled the centers, threw them in the buckets. You can see I've got two buckets right there that are full to the top with uh, the centers that I've pulled out of these. So uh, yeah, I've got all the way through what I had in the five gallon or the 55 gallon drum. Plus, I had an extra five gallon bucket that uh, was supposed to go in there that I went ahead and just left and uh, went through it. So I'll have two buckets to take home, dry out, and see if I can uh, sort it all by size and find any diamonds in it. Alright, so I've got about uh, halfway through the first bucket of concentrate and I've already got my first find here. See if I can get zoomed in on this. You can see right there, that's a nice little round diamond. Probably, you know, probably somewhere between five and ten points. Beautiful shape. 
looks like it's kind of got some carbon in there. As you can see, I'm just kind of just kind of uh, just brushing through this real lightly. Back out just a little bit so you can kind of see what I've got going. Just spread it out real thin, little by little, and as I get this checked, I just kind of move it. You can see I've gotten, you know, doing half bucket at a time. And I'll just take some more and spread it out real thin. Put some good light on it here. Just sit and kind of check it over real good. Don't see anything in that, but I'll check it a little closer once I put the camera down. If I find any more, I'll uh, jump back on here and let you guys see it. All right, so I am in the beginning of the second bucket, and I just spotted one. Let's see, where did it go? So I'm not sure how well you can see this. That is diamond number two. Alright, so the second diamond of the project right there. It's got one round side and then it's broken on the back side. It's broken really flat. So if you look at it just right, you really get a shine off of that thing. So that's probably, weight-wise, I would say it's probably about the same size as that first one I found. And it's got a lot of small inclusions in it. That's what they would call a salt and pepper diamond. It's white with lots of little black specks of carbon in it. So that's two diamonds that I've found so far. This is the beginning of the second bucket. So... Gone through the first bucket, found that uh, little round one. <coughs> so now I'm beginning on the second bucket, and I've already found one in the first. I'm doing it half by half, just kind of slowly scooting the material across. Um, so I've still basically got a full bucket to go. So. All right. Been away for a couple days, and uh, just getting back to going through some gravel. And uh, I'm on the second half of the second bucket, so this is all I have left to go through. <clears throat> so, as I'm going through this, let's see if I can find it on the viewfinder here. I've got a third diamond right there. I didn't even, I just happened to look over and see it in the pile. So I actually didn't find it out here laid out on my tray. So that's my third one. I still have <clears throat> about a quarter of my material to go through here in the pile. So that's about a quarter of it. So that's uh, that's what I have left. I'm at three diamonds. Yeah, I'm not sure that one may go yellow, and it's probably size-wise just a little bit bigger than the other two. And we'll see. See if we got any more. Okay, so I've finished my project. Um, I have gone through all of the gravel now, just this last little bit, and I found a total of three diamonds. These are three diamonds that I had missed, and if I hadn't taken the advice of one of the other miners down there, um, these would have probably ended up in the garden or some concrete. Um, sometimes I just pour it in the driveway. So I'll kind of take you and get you a closer look. I think... 
I'm not sure if that one's going to go as a yellow or a white. That one right there and this one will definitely be a white. So uh, I'll be making another trip to the mine real soon and I'll get them checked and weighed, certified, and let you guys know what I end up with. Okay, so I am done going through all of my gravel. Um, I found the three diamonds, took them down to the diamond mine, got them registered. Um, I ended up with a seven point white, that's the little round one. A nine point white, that was the salt and pepper, I guess is what you'd call it. And the last one I found was an 11 point, so a Not too bad. A um, little disappointed that I missed them. Happy that I found them. Um, definitely a big thank you to Troy. Um, you know, he's one of the other diamonds. He's or one of the other miners. He's found a lot of diamonds down there. Um, yeah, big shout out to Troy. Without his advice, I would have missed these. And that's something a lot of people will tell you um, when you st kind of start looking into the diamond mine. If you want to go down there for a vacation or something, or spend a lot of time down there, people will tell you. You know, listen to the miners that have found a lot of diamonds, the regulars down there, they know what they're talking about. Um, you know, I, I've gone down there quite a bit, but, you know, you always keep learning stuff down there. You always keep, you know, you talk to people, you get to know those guys. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of knowledge in some of the regulars down there. I guess that's, that's kind of my, my wrap-up for this. I'm glad I found them, but I'm disappointed that I had missed them. So, um, anyway... Got them found, got them registered, and uh, I think that's going to be the end of this project. So thanks for sticking with me and watching my video. If you would, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. And uh, thank you.